Previously, we created an endpoint that is using recent to send emails. And right now we are not using any custom template. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use React email to create your own template in less than a minute and to push it through resend to send your custom email. We saw previously that we can send email with resend, the SDK that we install in our Next.js application. And here we have an endpoint API send that we trigger. And when we trigger it, it's sending the email to the corresponding address that we've got in here. And we saw that with the key React, we can actually inject a template coming directly from a React or Next.js here component. And this is a really simple one. We just inject some HTML and then we receive everything. However, there is another solution to give a bit of styling to this email template. So of course here you can still inject your style like you would do in line directly inside your, uh, actually inside your template. However, we can use also React email and React email help you to actually give some style to your emails. So if you go on react.email, you click on explore components and here you arrive on the documentation. We click on examples and here we've got some examples of email that we can style with this package. Here we got an example of Airbnb email. Here we got Apple. And if we look at it, really, it's really looking like the real brand email. So what we're going to do now, we are going to install React email. We are going to use it to stylize our own email. I'm going to click on automatic setup down there and we can see that here we got a command to create the same demo app locally. We'll use that to create a template. Once it's done, I should have something like this. And if you got trouble to install React email, you can downgrade the version. This is something really common that we see on every video on YouTube talking about React email. And what we can see here is that we've got exactly the same as we've got in our Next.js project. We've got actually emails that are returned, but we use components coming from React email. This is very cool because now I want to create a template email that is going to look like this with an image, some text that I can inject and uh, here just uh, like a footer. So here it's going to be my newsletter. And if you want to subscribe to this newsletter, there is the link down below into the description. All right, when I launch the project, I arrive here on the starter that is launched. And this is amazing. If I click on every model, we can see here that we've got four templates. And if I come back to the project, we can see that those four templates are in here. So what I want to do, I want to create first my own template and I'm going to extract after and put inside my project. So let's call it call with g.tsx. I'm going to type enter and we should be good. And here, the only thing that we can do is just like to create a const, uh, like let's say that is going to be code with G template. There we go, which will be a function that is going to be exported. And at the end, I'm going to export by default exactly like we are supposed to do here. There we go, export default. So export default code with G template, and we should be. Now, if I come back <laughs> to uh, my demo that is running here, we can see that I got code with G. And if I click on it, there is nothing. We need to create the template. And remember, I want to create this template. So we're going to do it right away. Okay, so at first, we already know that uh, um, to this template, I'm going to pass some content, which will be actually the text of the every newsletter that I'm going to spend here. So this is the part that is going to be dynamic. So if I come back here, I can just create an interface and here we can call it props or whatever you can do. Give the name you want here. It's going to be content and here this will be a string and here I'm going to declare this content and here it's going to be props. So inside here inside, I'm going to have actually access to my uh, content. So what I want to return here at first to start, it's some HTML and here we see if I type enter, there we go, that we import HTML coming from React email. All right, so up here we can see that I got React email here that is importing the HTML com um, component directly from here and we've got our HTML here. So if I type P and hello here right away and when I come back, 
and I look at it, nothing happens in here because probably it's on black. However, here we don't want to put hello directly like this. What we want to do at first, we want to use Tailwind, all right? But at first we see that we've got an error and we need to import React. So here on the top, I'm going to come back and I'm going to type React and it's going to import React this way. I'm just going to put import the um, global React this way. It's going to be better. Okay, so here what I want to do at first is to use Tailwind and hopefully we can use Tailwind by importing actually the Tailwind component coming from directly from React Image. So I come here and I type Tailwind and here we should be good. So if I do this, suddenly I got Tailwind that can be used. And inside here, I'm going to call the uh, body here and the body is also coming from React Email component. Let's have a quick look here. If we come back to the documentation, here on the left, you can see that we've got the list of all the components that you can use. So HTML, add, button, colon, row, container, font, heading, image, etc., etc. Another thing that I want to pass, it's the head, because here I'm going to have uh, probably a head on my, uh, for sure, I'm going to have a head on my uh, template that is here. For now, I just put it this way. Okay, so now we've got the body. What I want to do is just to see if it works. So I'm going to type BG white from Tailwind. And inside here, I want to put some text. So here you saw previously that I put a paragraph or a div. Actually, we can use the component text. So I'm going to come back again. And here we can see that we've got a component text that we can use from React email directly. So I'm going to use this component text. There we go. And I'm going to put here, hello world. All right. And we need to import this component text from React email slash text. So I'm going to come here and here we should be good. And let's come back to our previous uh, here a destination and we should be good here. We see that we've got hello world. We are ready to work on this email template and being rendered immediately on the demo on React email. Okay, if I look at my email here, we can see that I got a background gray and then a white container containing an image. So I'm gonna come back in here and the first thing that I'm gonna do instead of BG white, I'm going to put BG gray 100 and I'm going to put a font sans and a text gray 400 because all my text is going to be on text gray. This text in here is going to go actually inside container and container needs to be imported. It comes also from the React email component and we should be good. This container here is going to be BG white with some shadow SM and I want to have some um, margin on the top and on the bottom. So I'm going to use MY6. So now I can close this so we got uh, more visibility. And look at this. Suddenly our email got some shape, right? It got some design. It's really nice to see. So we're going to keep that for now. And the first thing that I want to do is actually to import this image. So if we come back here on our uh, com component tree, sorry, um, we've got this folder called React Email here on the top. This is the build. This is the build, the Next.js build actually, of our current application running. And if we look a little bit, we can see that on public and static, we've got all the images, right? However, here on emails, uh, here, when I call an image, and let's look here if there is an image, I think so, there we go. We can see that we use a base URL slash static slash Notion logo. So we definitely know that we are not going to use base URL for now, but we've got this, right? We've got uh, slash static slash Notion slash logo. So basically you are going to use a base URL to uh, get your uh, source, okay? The image of your source. So we can probably use, and we should definitely use this base URL here with a Vercel URL. If you host on another host, you can use that. So for now, just for the example, I'm going to just copy paste this element here and let's come back to the design and let's look at it. We can see that inside the container, we've got the image. So I'm going to, going to go to the top of the container here and I'm going to use the same code. However, I need to import my image here on the top. And there we go. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to come back to it here. I'm going just to indent. 
and uh, there we go. So here we see that we call Notion logo and this is not what we want. We don't want the Notion logo. We want our image. So I'm going to import my image directly here in static and it's already done actually. I got my image called nl.png. So if I come back here and I go here, I'm going to change and I'm going to put nlpng. And when I come back, we see that it doesn't got the right width and height. So what I need to do is to change this and I'm going to change the alt also. It's going to be called with Guillaume's up. Oh, we're going to put that newsletter. There we go. And as the width, I'm going to put 100% and I already know my height is going to be on auto. So it's going to take all the width and there we go. We've got something that looks really close to it. Okay. And we are very cool about that. We're very happy. Okay, so let's continue. I'm going to get back. I got my image. Okay, I got everything. So now what I want to do is that under that, I don't want necessarily to have a text. I would prefer to have a section. So here I got my section, but section, I need to import it. I'm going to go on the top and I'm going to import section up here. And if I go down, we are fine. There we go. So in this section, what I want to do at first is actually to put a text. And this text, it's going to be what? It's going to be the content that we got up here. So right now there is no value, so it's going to be empty. But I'm just going to put hello world as a value. And here we should be good. So I need to re-import actually my text because it has been removed. And I can go here and we should be good. There we go. So if I come back, and I update, and sometimes you would have some bugs like this, but you can update it. We can see that we've got our hello world. So in the future, I will be able to have like a text editor and I will push the content to my template here. This is a spoiler. You are going to see that in a big video that I'm shooting right now, how to build a full stack application with Next.js, Superbase and Recent, and there will be a text editor to send newsletters. So if you want to know more about this video, please subscribe to my channel. Okay, so let's come back to this section. I'm going to put here a, a more like um, a margin. So MX6, MY6, and here I just, I could do M6 directly, but here probably for some reason I'm going to change. So I'm directly doing this. And on the text, I'm going to put 16 pixels. There we go. And then leading here, I want to have some width. So I'm going to put 23 pixels. There we go. So if I come back, we see that I get some space and this is really nice. Okay, just after, if we come back to my template, we see that there is a line, a dashed line. Here, I'm not necessarily uh, going to do a dashed line. I can use the HR component coming from React email. So I'm going to get back here and I'm going to import actually HR and it's going to come from here, the email components on the top. And just after my section, or probably, no, just inside, I'm going to put my HR here, and there we go, we should be good. Then what I want to do also is inside, I can add what we call a row. So the row, it's just being used to create a new row. So there we go, we should be good. And here, I'm going to work on my footer, all right? So with my footer here, what I'm going to do is just to put, again, a text component. And inside this text component, I'm just going to copy paste my text. And just after that, I'm going to put some uh, spaces to it. So here we can see that I got this. I want to go to the line, etc., etc. And here is the result. We got something really nice here, this uh, bottom. And what I want to do also just after I want to have some link to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So if I go back here and I go to link and here we, we can see that we've got a link and component link, I'm going to import this component link that I'm going to use here. There we go. And I'm going to use here directly link. So we come back, I go to the bottom and I'm going to just put my text subscribe to my YouTube channel. Of course, here I'm going to change the link. And here is the result. This is our template that we created thanks to React email. And it's working perfectly, right? It's work working really nice. So what we can do is actually to install into our Next.js project React email and then to import this component and substitute this component 
to our uh, React key inside our post endpoint. I am back on my recent Next.js project. I'm going to go to source, to components. And here we see that I got an email template.tsx. So let's say that I'm going to create my code with g.tsx. And inside here, I'm going to put the template I just created. So I'm going to get back. And what I need to do is to, of course, import my image also. When my image is imported, we are good. We just need now to install React Email. On manual setup, we've got a command to install React Email. So I'm going to copy paste this, type npm install React Email to our endpoint. And here, instead of our email template, we are going to use the code with G template. So here I'm going to type code with G template and we should be good. And as a content, I'm going to type hello from my app. All right, we should be good. Now let's try to send the email and let's look at it. Let's try to send it. If I click on send, what's going to happen is that I'm going to have my response. And now let's look at the email. We go. If we look at our email, we just receive with the image, which is actually a link to a hosted image on a website. And we've got here my content. And down there, we've got all my elements. If I click on subscribe to my YouTube channel, we finally arrive on my YouTube channel. So we see that with React Email, we can definitely create templates really easily through code in 44 lines here. We've got a template that we can push every time we need some kind of template. We can imagine that we can have several template email that we can pass to give a different style, a different ambience to all our email. It's really easy with resend and react email to create the templates that you want and to send them in one click. Everything can be done in actually in two to three minutes.